Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. Yes, Marvel fans. Yes, MCU fans. Uh, late afternoon, early evening yesterday, I got to see a test screening of Captain Marvel. And of course, I was very excited about that. You know, I love superhero movies. I get excited about these blockbusters. So my palms were sweaty. I was really excited for seeing it. So I can't review this film. I can't tell you what happens in this film. I could just tell you my overall feelings on it. This film isn't a total disaster. It equals any standalone MCU movie. That's for sure. Um, you'll be glad that Samuel L. Jackson and Agent Coulson are in this film. Um, they're, they're important to this film because they're the best thing about it. Um, equally, Jude Law as well. Jude Law is very, very, um, very, very good. And it's, it's ironic that Brie Larson, a film with Brie Larson in it, uh, who's criticised uh, white male critics, the best thing about this movie are the, well, you got two white men and a black man. So not that ironic, but still, you know, they're still men. And this is, isn't this meant to be a film about girl power? Well, let's talk about Brie Larson. Brie Larson is an Oscar winner. Brie Larson is a very good actor. Brie Larson does a good job in this film. The problem is she's not right for this character. We all know that. Everybody knows this apart from Marvel Studios, Disney, but the most important ent entity, Kevin Feige. He just doesn't get it. She is not Captain Marvel. She just doesn't... I, I don't feel it. I don't feel intimidated by her. I don't feel she's got this power. Um, I did feel her internal struggle. Um, I won't go into all of that, but I'll just say, yeah, I felt the character's internal struggle. Again, Brie is a really good actor, so she can pull that off. But just because you're a good actor, it doesn't mean you're right for a role. There's, yeah, there's a very interesting distinction in that. And people will say, well, if she perform well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is I don't see her as Captain Marvel. I see her as Brie Larson. And, and, and that's the problem. It was a very uninteresting performance, if you like. But that uninterestingness is in the script as well. The VFX is probably the best VFX, including Infinity War, I've seen in the MCU. So the VFX, the action um, is on point. It's beautiful. The film looks amazing. But all films these days should look amazing. There should never be an issue with CGI. Not with the point that they've got with this technology today. Um, so that aspect was really good. The, the music was passable. I think the MC, MCU music isn't really that remarkable um, but, or memorable. But um, apart from the, uh, the first Avengers movie, of course, which was very memorable and brilliant. Um, this is, look, this is just a handover. Uh, basically, they, Kevin Feige wants Captain Marvel to be the future of the Avengers movie. Kevin Feige wants Captain Marvel to be the one who is largely responsible for the Thanos takedown. That's a big decision. Now, the diehard um, Marvel ha fans I talk to tell me they're not big Captain Marvel fans. They explained Also, what they explained to me is that Captain Marvel isn't Wonder Woman. She's not part of any trinity. She's not up there when it comes to comparing popular Marvel superheroes. She's, um, and she, they've changed her so many times, the fans are starting to, it's starting to wear thin with the fans. There's a, there's a lot of issues um, with Captain Marvel within the Marvel Comics community as well. So I think this film will be very problematic for the fans and what they've done with this film. They've changed certain things from the comics as well, I can tell you. Of course, I can't tell you what those are. Uh, look, is this film entertaining? Yes, it is. Does this film do a good job of introducing Captain Marvel into the MCU? Yes, it does. You will be satisfied. There's no question. This is not a bad MCU movie. It's just as good as the others. It's just not better than the others. It's as simple as that. I suppose you could say it's better than both the Ant-Man films, but then I wouldn't be saying a lot, would I? So I think with the way the Marvel fans are feeling, the hardcore feeling about the MCU and Captain Marvel right now, is one thing. Fake's decision to make her a big deal within this universe is also very controversial to a lot of diehard Marvel fans, the ones that I talk to as well. 
But I would say that this film is a three and a half stars. It's passable. It's okay. And when you leave the cinema, you won't be talking about it very much. Although you probably will be for all the wrong reasons.